give you a quick history on gongs. So nickel silver gongs are a modern invention. They're made out of sheet metal where you cut out a circle and then from that circle they um, flame torch the edges, hammer it to give the bend, hammer it to give compression to get some nice sound, varnish it so it doesn't rust, and then it's yours. Bronze gongs come out of China. We all heard of Wuhan, China. Well, that's the, where all the traditional gong makers are. So bronze gongs are made from molten bronze, put into a fire, comes out of the fire, it's hammered back in the fire, and they keep doing this until you get the perfect thickness, the right bend, and then a bit more final touch of hammering to create beautiful sound because hammering causes compression and that compression of the layers is what allows the gong to resonate so wide, so beautiful. If I remember my memory correctly, 4,000 years ago, Aristoxenes was a Greek philosopher um, and he wrote about using bronze discs to create music. Bronze disc music, that's a gong. Then he also talked about some folklore around 400 BC of a Chinese emperor um, as they paraded through the country announcing the arrival of the birth of their child by using the gong.